your phone stuck in boot loop it mean restarting over and over so what's the problem and what's the solution as always to find out any solution of something it's important to understand the problem first when you understand the problem then it will be easy to find out the solution mobile phone restarting over and over again this can be due to many reason like it can be software issue battery issue mobile phone switch issue ram ic issue cpu ic issue or any other ic or shorting issue let's start with the software there was a time when this type of error occur it can be easily solved by mobile phone flashing but nowadays this type of error occur for hardware issue so there is a huge chance that it cause for hardware issue flashing your device may not help still if you wish or want to try flashing then you can watch the full video next the battery issue there is a huge chance that it can be the battery issue so how do you know that connect your mobile phone charger to your mobile if it successfully boot up then definitely it's a battery issue don't worry just for this simple issue you don't have to replace your battery you can easily fix it by shorting this diode or resistance whatever you called it number 3 do you know if you press and hold the power button about 10 to 15 second your phone will restart and if you continue hold the power button your phone will restart over and over again so maybe your power button got stuck that's why your phone get stuck in rebooting loop to confirm the issue remove your switch connector or disconnect the power switch from the motherboard if it was your power key issue then your phone will reboot to your login screen now if you need to fix that power key then you can easily fix that by reinstalling it or if you wish then you can change that guys you cannot tell where the problem is until you try one by one these are the basic fixing method you should try when your phone is stuck in rebooting loop there could be another type of issue on your mobile phone like ram ic issue cpu ic issue or any other type of ic issue basically this chip connection move out of place and have to reboot it or one of the chip get destroy and have to use new one but these are the advanced fixing method probably we will discuss that in separate video but for now if this method doesn't help you to fix your issue then you should reach for any tech support